Hey y'all, I'm gonna be sharing a day of eating video with y'all. It has been forever. So I'm no longer following macros. I did consistently for two years, almost every single day, back in my competition days. Um, I was eating close to 2,400 calories on average and maintaining. Um, and then during my cuts, I'd get down to about 1,600. Every once in a while, I will put in what I had during the day just out of curiosity. Um, and right now I'd say I'm eating between about 1,800 to 2,100 calories, depending on the day. Um, Fridays, Saturdays, maybe if I've had a few colavisins, then it's a little bit higher because of the carbs. Uh, if y'all don't know what that is, it is a Hefeweizen, which is a German wheat beer with, I put Coke Zero in it. They do Coke, regular Coke here. It is incredible. Sounds really weird, beer with Coke in it, but it's, it's amazing. Uh, one of these... Next videos, I'll have to do one, uh, show y'all how I make it. But anyways, so I'm gonna be sharing my breakfast with y'all. I have this almost every single morning. If you follow me for a while now, you will know that throughout my preps, I had oatmeal every single morning. Um, it was oats with milk, water, sometimes egg whites, blueberries. Loved that. I ate that almost every morning for like two years, and I could still go back to that. I am not one that tends to eat the same stuff every day. Like, I get bored because I like variety, but when it comes to breakfast foods, I do tend to do that. So, pumpkin seed bread is my absolute favorite. I've fallen in love with it since we've moved to Germany, and I'm so glad that I've had the few Europeans comment on my German grocery shopping videos asking me what the hell I was doing buying prepackaged bread and why I wasn't going to the bakery. So I go to the bakery uh, two to three times a week and buy freshly made bread that was made that morning. Uh, very few ingredients, I'd say six to seven at most, and the majority of it is from uh, fresh wheats and seeds. So the pumpkin seed bread I had is, have is actually made out of pumpkin seeds. Um, it actually has pumpkin seed flour sometimes, depending on the bakery that I get it from. Um, and it lasts typically for three to four days. After that, it, it usually starts to mold, which is unheard of in America. You don't see your loaves of bread molding for like weeks, uh, especially like Wonder Bread. So I don't eat any of that stuff anymore. And I'm already having like a nervous breakdown thinking about when we have to move back to the States and I'm gonna have to try to find like an artisan bread shop because uh, or take German baking classes and maybe learn how to make my own before we leave here because I'm not going to be able to live without it. So this is pumpkin seed bread or Kerbiskern brot. I'm having that. I toasted it with some Kerrygold butter, a little less than half a tablespoon, I'd say. This is my Polish pottery. Got it in Poland on a trip there. Keep that on the counter in the winter and in the summer obviously I have to put it in the fridge because we don't have AC here. Two eggs from my backyard chickens which I keep right up here on my windowsill. They do not need to be refrigerated. Gorgeous. Cooked that in some coconut oil. This is the one that I get. Um, and then also topped my toast with some local honey. This is honey that I get at a grocery store or you can get at the farmer's market and it is from a local farmer from the village right next door to ours so it tells you the name of the farmer and as well as his address and if you need to get a hold of him so it's pretty sweet this was 5.99 euro so around seven dollars for a jar like this you can return the jar and get i think 10 cents back when you do that um, and then along with breakfast i'm going to be taking my supplements so I just started taking this Thorn brand Stress B Complex vitamin. So it has thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, biotin, and yeah, vitamin D3. I take two capsules of this, so 2,000 isometric units. And my husband and I have also been taking on its joint oil. This includes turmeric root, avocado oil, and fish oil. It's tangerine dream flavor and it is amazing. It tastes like candy. One serving is two teaspoons, so we both take that uh, once a day. 
really good stuff. I really trust on it when it comes to making supplements. Kind of pricey, but totally worth it. And that's one less pill you have to swallow. There you go. Avocado fish oil, turmeric borage oil, if I'm saying that properly. Um, we take it right away in the morning, but it says per, for post-workout joint care, supports joint mobility and maintain joint health. So that's my typical breakfast. Um, along with having pumpkin seeds in my bread, adds a lot of fiber, iron, a bunch of different nutrients. So I'm always on the search for breads with seeds because it's an easy way to get extra nutrients. And it is so cold this morning. When I walked the kids to the bus stop, it was seven degrees, which is freezing. I wanna say it was the coldest day of the year so far. I actually went to collect eggs from the coop this morning from yesterday and wasn't even thinking. Um, it was rock hard, frozen, with a crack in it. Yeah, and that, that's what they actually have done. And joining so me for breakfast this morning is Joe so Rogan from the Joe Rogan Experience on his podcast. I'm listening to episode 1084 this morning with Douglas Murray. Uh, I don't have clients for another hour this morning. I, ha I have a home gym. For those of you that haven't watched my update video, we have a home gym in our basement and I take clients out of there. I pay German taxes, it's a legit business. Um, train for a few hours in the morning. I don't have anyone for an hour this morning, so I had the time to really sit down and make my breakfast, listen to a little Joe Rogan, enhance the brain. For a little snack today and pick me up before lunch, I'm having some cold brew coffee that my husband made a few days ago that we keep in the fridge with some MTC, MCT oil creamer. This is in the pumpkin spice flavor, which is not my favorite, but it was on sale for a really good price. I couldn't pass it up. Um, a serving size is one tablespoon, and that contains seven grams of fat, one gram of carb, no sugar. And that's what it looks like once you've poured it in there and it's all kind of settled. As you can see, you don't need to blend it or anything, which is pretty nice. And then I'm going to be having one of these oat balls that I made yesterday. Um, I've done a YouTube video on these in the past. It's just peanut butter, cashew butter, honey, rolled oats, cacao nibs, chia seeds, flax meal, and I also threw in some sunflower seeds. For lunch today, I'm having leftovers. When am I not having leftovers? I like to meal prep or make meals in large batches for this reason, so that I'm not scrambling to find something to eat. Um, my husband works super long hours. He goes to work really early in the morning and doesn't have a lot of time for leave, to leave for lunch. So I like to always send him with something. Um, sometimes I'll even send stuff like this for the kids for their lunch. Um, so this is a potato and chickpea Indian style curry that I made earlier in the week in a giant pot. I did some for my meal prep clients and then I also made extra for ourselves. So it's super simple. I'll have to do a recipe video on this for y'all. It's basically just a bunch of potatoes, chickpeas, canned diced tomatoes, uh, veggie broth, ton of spices, onion, garlic, ginger, um, and that's kind of it. And then I just top it with a bunch of coriander or cilantro. I had no idea that cilantro was called coriander until we moved here because we lived in Texas for so long when I was like learning how to cook and I guess cilantro is maybe more of a Hispanic term. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I guess I'm un uneducated on herbs. Um, but then we moved here and I was at the grocery store and I could not find cilantro anywhere. I'm like, they don't sell cilantro in Germany? Uh, and then I slowly figured out once I actually looked at the herb that it's um, the same thing. It's just called coriander. So now I get myself saying coriander, but I like cilantro. What do you say? Cilantro or coriander? Oh, smells so good once it's warmed up. I will definitely have to make this and share the recipe with y'all because you will not be disappointed. It is vegan, vegetarian friendly. I'm neither of those by any means, um, but we do enjoy our meat-free dishes every once in a while, and this is a good go-to option. So on my meal prep menu that I do every week for my clients, I will always offer one meatless meal. So I do five a week, one's breakfast, four are other options for lunch or dinner, and one of those four is al always a meat-free dish, and this is one of my favorite go-tos. That's pretty quick and inexpensive. Um, we are eating a lot less 
poultry than we ever used to. As you will notice from my previous day of eating videos, I was eating chicken like twice, sometimes three times a day. Now we eat chicken twice, maybe three times a week. Um, we can't find good source a good source of organic, sustainably raised chicken at a good price around here. Um, and beef, you can't. So we eat a, a lot more beef. Um, we also eat venison here. Deer meat is pretty easy to come across. Um, pork, sometimes we can find organic or we get the hookups from a local farmer here. So um, for dinner tonight, we're actually going to be having some organic steaks that we bought at the farmer's market this weekend. Kind of pricey, about 10 bucks a piece for a piece of steak, but organic, sustainable, sustainably raised, humanely raised. We met the farmer, we talked to him, he talked about how much land he has, how his animals are taken care of from birth um, without antibiotics or steroids, how much free range they have to just live on their entire life and be happy. And um, we feel really connected to these farmers and are so happy to support them and pay a little bit extra to know that the animals lived a good life and that they ate the best and they were healthy and that they can help um, nurture us and make us healthier people and as well as the earth. So it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, just got back from our dog's hydrotherapy appointment and I'm going to be making a smoothie that I have every single day before dinner tonight. So I start with about a cup of organic coconut water, unsweetened with anything else. I'm going to put a scoop of this Garden of Life organic protein powder and vanilla. Maca powder. Right now I'm using about two teaspoons. When you start with this, it does have a very strong taste and it's known to also sometimes make you a little nauseous at first. So I would start small, that's what it looks like, about a half teaspoon, then move up to one. And then once your body can tolerate, tolerate it, I think two is about your average serving size from what I've found online. Organifi green juice. There's a bunch of different discount codes online for this. We order, buy it online. The more you purchase at one time, the cheaper they are. So we get the three pack and use um, a, I'll have to find the discount code that we use and link it down at the bottom. So a scoop of the Organifi Green Juice, which includes wheatgrass, horseradish tree leaf, spirulina, chlorella, matcha green tea, and then it also has ashwagandha, red beet, and turmeric. So these are all things that are already included in here that you don't need to use. Um, buy a whole bunch of ingredients and take up a bunch of space in your cabinets. This is all you need. Green juice is awesome. Love it. It does taste a little strong at first, so um, maybe you can start with half a scoop and get your taste buds used to it. That's what I put in the kids' smoothie is just half a scoop of this because it is pretty strong. Broccoli sprouts, I've done a video on these in the past. This sprouted a few days ago and I keep it in the refrigerator now and you want to use it within a few days and if you're not going to use them within a few days you need to freeze them so I put a good size handful of those in there they do have a slight peppery taste almost to them if that's how you want to describe them so they're great on like salads and stuff but in the smoothie you can't really taste them much some organic raspberries about maybe a quarter of a cup I don't really measure every, anything Strawberries, I put two or three Ooh, frozen ones in there. Blueberries, about a quarter a cup of those or a little more blueberries are super good for you. And berries are really low in sugar compared to bananas, kiwis, mangoes, and tropical fruits like that. I'm also going to be putting some spinach. So lower in sugar means, also means lower in carbs. I'm going to use the rest of the spinach I've got in this bag. So you've got your greens and your fruits all in one. I have the Ninja Food Blender. This is the, I'm not sure which one this is, but it came with two of these single serving cups that are super convenient. So you just twist that on. It's an American appliance, 120 volt. So we have to 
plug it into this lovely ginormous transformer over here and plug that on, plug that in to the wall, um, which is then plugged in. The blender is then plugged in to the box. So then we can use our appliances overseas. So then I'm just gonna mix that for about a minute. There you have it. Super nutritious smoothie that you can make very inexpensive at home. Something like this would be like seven or eight dollars in a health food store. So I drink this every single day. Um, I'm going to make the kids one also, but I add a banana to theirs just to add extra sweetness because the broccoli spout, sprouts and Organifi do have a slight bitter taste. Um, the Organifi I, ha I find has a lemony minty taste because they add those flavors. Those are other organic ingredients that they add. Uh, lemon flavor, orange flavor, and mint, uh, and then also monk fruit. So I feel like that's why it has kind of that, that flavor to it. And they definitely pick it out when I first started adding it to their smoothies. For dinner tonight, we're having these incredible looking steaks that I mentioned earlier today that we got from a local farmer that's about 45 minutes away from here. We got them at the farmer's market. They were 17 euro and 64 euro cent, so around $20 for the two of them. Um, Doug, Doug's Farm, for those of you that might be local watching this in Odenbach. Uh, if you wanna look him up, I know he has a Facebook page and a website as well. The kids have been begging for macaroni. I have not bought box macaroni in months. Um, so I agreed to let them buy some the last time we were at the commissary. So we're gonna be having macaroni and cheese. And I also picked up this cauliflower at the, at the uh, farmer's market and I'm going to be doing a roasted Parmesan garlic cauliflower. So the steak, I cooked cast iron with some grass-fed butter, the roasted cauliflower that I put some olive oil, salt, uh, ground thyme, and then when it came out of the oven, I also put some Parmesan cheese. Oh, also some minced garlic macaroni and cheese and my husband totally read my mind he brought home some coke zero for me and was like we're having cola bison tonight with our dinner so he's going to show you how that's done he puts about that much of the coke zero and then we use polliner cola beer cola bison so good especially in the summer Super refreshing. Ta-da!